In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the upstream O2 sensors on this Ford F-150. We are working with the 5.4 liter V8, so keep that in mind because the routing and the position of the O2 sensors might be different on the other engines provided with this truck. Let's get started. If you follow the pipe up, you'll see the upstream O2 sensor. Follow the wire, you'll see the black one, which is for the upstream. Pop this out of its retainer so you can hold it a little bit better and the connector, the lock for the connector is actually on the back side of it over here. Press the tab, pop this out, and then just unhook the wire from all of its retainers. Just like that, and pull it out. With the wire set aside, let's get our O2 sensor socket on the sensor and see what happens. Hopefully we don't have to use heat for this one. Make sure that's fully seated like that. You don't want to force it too much. If it doesn't go and you feel that it's stripping out the cutout here, don't continue because then you're in for more trouble. Oh, oh never mind. I got it. Broke it free. Get your socket off. Remove the sensor. There you go. Now do the same to the passenger side. You'll see the upstream, pull it down, and unplug it. There we go. And let's get the passenger side upstream disconnected. All right, let's see if the wrench can get it. This is a 22 millimeter wrench, by the way. Oh, okay, I think something good happened. There it is. Upstream passenger side removed. Now let's get the O2 sensor in on the passenger side. I'm gonna have to block your view for a second just so I can start it in. There we go. All right, get the O2 sensor socket on here. And make sure it's, it's nice and tight. And let's connect the upstream, which was the black connector. Okay, make sure that one that clicked for sure. All right, and resecure it onto this retainer so it doesn't flop around. There we go. And the upstream, same thing, apply some ADCs. Make sure the wire doesn't get too twisted here. All right. Get the O2 sensor socket over. On this one, it's a little more difficult to use the wrench. All right, make sure that's nice and tight. Oh, make sure the O2 sensor socket doesn't fall off. Okay, that's snug, perfect. Take this off of here, and now let's plug them both in. Make sure the wires are routed where they were before. Make sure they click and secure them. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.